Hey guys, it's your girl Aisha Shasha and today I'm going to be making this really, really cute pastel kawaii candy charm bracelet. Yes, I know that I'm obsessed with pastel. Yes, I know I'm obsessed with kawaii things. And yes, I know that I'm currently obsessed with charm bracelets. So this is what you're getting today. <laughs> Now I'm very excited to say that this video is in collaboration with a lovely new friend of mine called Jessica from JB Cons Creations. Hey girl! We decided to collaborate on this because we both love pastel things and we both love kawaii things too. So I'm really excited to see exactly what she's made because I haven't actually seen it yet but hopefully this video will be going out at roughly the same time as hers. I'm going to be linking her channel in the description box below. So what you've just seen me do is condition the polymer clay that I got from the August Sophie and Toffee box and I've even added in a touch of glitter as well because I like to make everything sparkle. So just by using a touch of the chalk pastels I was able to make the colours lavender and also a lovely baby pink as well. And now I'm just making my little sweets. I wasn't entirely sure what sweets I was going to do so I'm literally just making it up as I go along. But the first one was a marshmallow flump which I thought was super duper cute this is very very easy to do you just need to get three little sausages put them together twist them around cut it and then there you have it you have a marshmallow flump this is literally the simplest sweet that you could ever make and then I just popped an eye pin in it and then when I bake it the eye pin will stay in there but then I'll reinforce it with resin later Next I just took the leftovers from the flump and I put them together. I didn't mix them up too much because I didn't want to lose that kind of nice sort of marbled effect. And then I just used my dotting tool to create a bit of texture and then I ended up with a really cute little ice cream scoop. The rest of these sweets are pretty self-explanatory to make so I'm going to just leave you to enjoy the rest of the video but I will say that this is probably my favourite one out of all of them. I think it's so so cute and the teeny tiny little bow that I made just gives it a really nice finishing touch and of course I had to add some extra glitter. Okay, actually I will talk about this next one. Um, so I didn't have a cupcake mold, but I did have a cookie cutter that had this really cool ridged edge. So I decided to just roll the polymer clay onto that edge and it gave me the exact sort of look that I was looking for. I don't know where the idea came from, but it just came to me and I thought that it was great. I know that some people were wishing that they got a cupcake mold in this box. So you kind of did, but you just didn't quite know it. <laughs> So uh, yeah, hopefully that's helped some people who have this box.
After everything has been baked, I then mix together some black chalk and some UV resin and then I use my dotting tool to create some really, really cute little faces. Yes, I know I'm not the best at doing these faces and I know that they are so simple, but it's actually quite difficult to do on something that's so, so small. So um, yeah, bear with me guys, I will get better, I promise. <laughs> After that, I covered them all with a very thin coat of UV resin and I added on some little jewels as well. And then I left them to cure for about 10 minutes. Then I just attached them to my pastel chain and look at the result. I am living, I love it. It is super duper cute. I've been wearing it all day. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. And yeah, like just seeing those colors together, it just brings me so much joy. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, then please don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss another video. Take care and I'll see you all soon. Bye.